So uh, taking a leaf out of uh, Partha's uh, first session where he talked about what finance leaders need to aspire uh, to become, that is to become five-star uh, CFOs. And today we see that's a reality. Organizations or finance leaders are actually in the process of building a digitally native organization. And uh, Partha did also mention that the future is digital. So it's very important for the future CFOs to embrace digital. And that's exactly what we're going to talk or rather hear from Stephen in today's uh, session. Uh, Stephen, who's the director, CFO advisory practice for APAC Oracle, will talk to us about how technology will have a greater impact on the CFO of the future. By way of a quick introduction, Stephen has over 25 years of experience in corporate accounting and finance and has led finance teams and numerous change management programs as a CFO. Over the last six years, Stephen has successfully transitioned into strategic leadership roles and has supported some of the largest organizations across JPAC in their technology-led digital transformation programs. I'm absolutely delighted to welcome Stephen to share his thoughts with us today. Thank you very much, Seema. And um, thank you, every, uh, everyone, for joining me tonight. I'm joining you from Sydney, but it, it's great to be with you here. Um, and it's an honour to be uh, presenting to you today. I'm here to present to you what it really means for uh, the next CFO to really move from a strategic into an execution role. I just thought I'd share with you, I, I quite like this quote from our CEO, CEO um, Zafra Kantz. She says, this is the time to really put your foot on the accelerator. People always think it's risky to go fast, but I think it's too risky to go slow. And another quote from MIT Technology that says 80% of businesses are currently planning big moves, such as acquisitions, divestitures, and new business models and widespread automation. So I'd like to take you through what that really means for the next CFO. So what are we seeing? When I talk to CFOs, they're really looking to make some big moves right now to pivot towards growth and what they're actually investing in today. Some organizations are actually investing in new business models to provide innovation to their customers. Some are actually looking to accelerate an automatic close. At Oracle, we believe that Oracle, that sorry, we believe that month end should really be a non-event. Organisations and CFOs are also looking to merger and acquisitions and divestitures to support their pivot and their growth strategies. And some CFOs are also looking to create a risk intelligent culture. So let's look at those in a little bit more detail. Some organisations are actually looking to embrace technology to be able to change their business models. And in fact, the economy and, and um, customer behaviours are actually creating a whole new range of business opportunities. CFOs and their organisations are looking to, to the next gen generation of growth activities by repositioning their organisations. And some, for instance, are actually looking at service-based subscription models, plus a whole range of new business models, and investing in the front end of their business and also integrating with that with the back end of their business as well. So MIT currently conducted a survey and they found that 52% of organizations are now changing how products and services are actually brought to market. 44% are actually reallocating their resources to different initiatives across their organization. 37% are actually launching a new as a service business model to provide solutions and services to their organizations in completely new ways. And 50% of organizations are actually looking to pivot to new markets and that, that may be products and services or might be expanding internationally in new geographical areas. And 39% are actually rep repurposing their existing product and services. And 35% are actually investing in providing their customers with a better experience, becoming an easier business to do business with. And in fact, I really love this quote here from Aptiv. And I quote, this pandemic has accelerated our enterprise thinking about making big moves, given the opportunities to further diversify a business model and expand into new technology areas. And in fact, this organization is looking at scenario planning, project management, configure price quote applications and risk management, and a whole range of solutions to ex as they expand and grow their organization. So let's just take a quick look, for example, at 
the subscription business model and what that is producing for organizations. Well, the legacy approach and how organizations is, have traditionally handled subscription models is it's been really hard to react to, to um, real-time market changes. Risky innovation uh, integrations from all these da data silos across their organization. And of course, the risk is revenue leakage. But with Oracle Cloud ERP solution, these organizations are able to intelligently predict customer churn and have end-to-end -end business processes and reduce the amount of revenue leakage across their organization. I mean, imagine an automotive publisher being able to support growth by moving from old legacy on-prem applications to Cloud ERP. And the impact for those organizations is being able to have a 360 degree single view of the customer across all of their business models being able to streamline revenue management and being able to help companies comply with AA's or well, uh, IFRS 15 with the new revenue recognition rules. So for example, this organization Square is really focusing on product innovation. In other words, they saw it as important to either innovate or die and to remain highly competitive in the fintech space. And their goal was to really provide a suite of products. And their chief accounting officer at Square says, now that we have aligned on Oracle, that has allowed us to focus on more transformation in the initiatives and product innovation through deploying products like cloud ERP and planning cloud ERP environments, EPM environments. Mergers and acquisitions and divestitures are also proving to be a good way to pivot your business model. The old legacy approach was difficult to assess M&A candidates and inability to close financial periods on a timely basis and a lack of trust in financial information. But imagine being able to utilize cloud, Oracle Cloud ERP, being able to assess for strategic business modeling and being able to implement new data models and, and business structures and having an enterprise-wide platform. Imagine if you like, for the hospitality company being able to achieve a single version of financial truth and being able to effectively process and efficiently process millions of disparate transactions in their ERP environments. And the impact for those organizations is being able to select M&A candidates for a strategic fit and being able to effectively use master data from a government's perspective and being able to streamline their processes on an end-to-end -end basis. And joint venture management, some CFOs are looking for new capabilities and improvements with every update. The old legacy approach with joint venture management included difficult to comply with agreements and inability to be able to prepare distributions across their joint venture partners and often labor intensive dispute resolution. But imagine being able to use Oracle Cloud ERP solution to be able to create and apply those definitions. Imagine being able to calculate joint venture change transactions and distributions of profit on automatically. A major energy operator being able to uh, establish a joint venture on an upstream project, being able to diversify their portfolio. And the impact on those types of organizations is being able to reduce month end close from days to hours. Being able to accurately calculate partner shares in terms of joint venture distributions and being able to reduce time to be able to manage those joint venture definitions. And in fact, Western Digital, which merged three Fortune 500 um, companies, along with their three on-premise ERP applications, and they were able to reduce the number of um, duplicate cost centers in our three IT departments, three HR departments, and more than 2,000 software applications across their acquisitions. In fact, 80 systems were being used just to process payroll. And now that Western Digital is live on cloud with a single um, chart of account structure, means that future acquisitions can be uh, uh, much easier to complete and also to integrate. In fact, Boy Real, Boy, uh, Bill Roy said they were able to cut down from 15 plus cost centers to around 3,000 cost centers using Oracle Cloud ERP. Organizations are, apps, are also looking to automate their financial close. Legacy approaches typically include excessive manual and disconnect processes around their month-end close process. Difficult to expand globally by using their old outdated complex ERP systems. But imagine moving to cloud Oracle Cloud ERP, being able to close automatically by leveraging new and emerging technologies like artificial intelligence and machine learning. 
and being able to close by tracking key business metrics. Now, imagine a bike manufacturer having touchless automation for complex requirements and being able to close their books 40% faster. So the impact on those businesses is to effectively have a continuous consolidated view. So closing their books becomes effectively a non-event and eliminating all these transactions through reduced complexity. M&G actually acquired some of their wealth management platform and were able to access a whole new set of customers. And their solution that they were looking for was to be able to accurately forecast and, and model various scenarios with high volatility and uncertainty. They were able to close their books faster through automation. And in fact, Paul Cooper says, from a finance perspective, we are transforming people, processes and systems. In fact, what you might be pleased to know is that Oracle uses the exact same version of the exact same software that all of our 8,500 customers use. And even Maria Smith, our corporate controller, has said that they have reduced 42% of manual accounting. 94% of bank transactions are auto-matched and reconciled and 99% of corporate accruals reduction in their preparation time. Maria says we are now spending more time with our customers, time we used to spend reporting on earnings. But CFOs are also looking to minimize risk and improve their compliance. And typically legacy approach was a range and a myriad of Excel um, spreadsheets based on their separation of duties and audit analytics and just by sampling some data, not all data, and very manual and disconnected security risks and order processes. But with Oracle Cloud ERP, imagine having native risk management embedded with your Cloud ERP. Imagine being able to use artificial intelligence to be able to monitor and analyze and surface perhaps anomaly detection across your financial transactions. Being able to automate security risk management and audit. Imagine being having 24 by seven driven continuous controls and monitoring and being able to um, automate your segregations of duties and being able to streamline your, your compliance and regulatory obligations. And the impact on those businesses is being able to stop fraud, reduce errors and improve our security breaches by promoting a risk intelligent culture by connecting businesses and, and, re and those results to actually risks making audit more efficient and more effective. In fact, sketches were able to transform their internal audit and, and compliance processes and have success, successfully transformed supporting footwares, supporting their rapid growth around the world. And in fact, the Vice President of Internal Audit says, we can do a lot more now with a fewer people. Without our standardized process and risk management, we would have up to 40 to 50 people traveling around the world all of the time. I just wanted to thank you for joining me this evening. And these are some of the issues that uh, the next CFOs are looking to, the pains and challenges they're looking to solve. And with Oracle Cloud ERP, we have gone a long way to solving those pains and challenges. I would like to thank you and all the best on your transformation journeys. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Stephen. That was a good introduction. And thank you so much for your insights. And I'm sure you're going to stay through the session. And uh, we'll quickly move on to the next part of the interaction. Mm -hmm.